Uh, King Charles appeared to brush off the row as he attended the COP28 conference in Dubai. Joining me now, Talk TV's Royal Correspondent Rupert Bell. Um, it hasn't gone away yet, Rupert. Uh, this story is still hanging around. Uh, Mr Scobie is, you know, he's entrenched in this position. Nothing to do with me. You know, no, that's, I didn't send anybody that copy. This is a mistake by the translators. They're saying, well, no, it wasn't. We don't just make stuff up. It was there. So... We're still... I'm trying to put my Columbo Mac on on this one, Rupert. Um, where, where do we point the finger, then? Well, it sounds like a COVID inquiry. It just seems talking about everyone coming up with a different version of events and yeah. we don't know what the real story is. Well, obviously, Omid Scobie is at the heart of it and he's written the book, so clearly he should know. Um, and presumably, and I can't... You know, if a book... If I'm just trying to sort of be Columbo here, I imagine that you've written a first draft... And it gets handed, probably to lawyers in this case, and then gets sent for publication, not only whether it be in English or is going to be around the world. So there must have been a publication that turned it up. So what he wrote, and that's why the Dutch uh, translators are saying, well, we're just translating what's in front of us. It's, yeah. that it's not in their interest to do anything else than actually put it into Dutch. And the ones who have done it, I'm told, are very experienced. So this is where this story then looks at Omid Scobie saying, well, he never wanted to reveal the names. He knew he couldn't in this country because of legal issues. But he was absolutely uh, steadfast in that there are these issues going on. But clearly, uh, now that the names are out there, they, there are no allegations that they did make these statements. But clearly, the spotlight is on them. And this is sad for the king, who's making his highly publicized trip to the UAE to be part of COP28, which he couldn't be part of last year. So it's been completely overshadowed by the events of the last 48 hours. He's obviously trying to make significant statements with how he sees the future of this planet, the whole point of COP28. And he's saying we're not we're quite in the last chance saloon, but that's the message he wants to get over and trying, though, to be positive. But it's a, a chance for him to go on to the world stage. But clearly, the interest now is on what else is going on in the soap opera element of the royal family, which it must be... It very frustrating for him that yeah. he's having to... He, the whole backdrop to his trip to the UAE is overshadowed by what's happened with the publication of this book. And I notice Scobie has... Unless there's an interview that I've missed, he's, mm -hmm. he's done a few over the last couple of days, uh, but he, he, he says he wasn't the person that gave them that manuscript. But he hasn't said he doesn't recognise the names that are in the manuscript. So did he write the book or not? Correct. I mean... You know, um, who, how did those names get anywhere near there then? So who's put the names in there, if that is the case? So, I mean, the buck stops somewhere. Well, if you're the lend lending your name as the author of the book, then clearly you're the one who's got to actually be absolutely... Well, he's obviously, given what he's saying, convinced that he never did it. And that's what he's... The line that he's uh, putting out there and all the interviews he's done, he doesn't... But also... Um, it clearly, um, Me Meghan and Harry, presumably they could uh, defuse the situation as well. But the spotlight is definitely on Omid Scobie, who's then saying, look, it's putting his life in, you know, all the photograph photographers and everyone out there. Well, actually, he's only gone and created this storm by he's the one at the centre of it. And he always knew if you're going to write this kind of book about the royal family and the sort of, you know, element of, you know, not saying a hatchet job, but clearly a negative view of the royal family as an institution, then there's going to be a lot of focus on you. And clearly, with the events of the last, as Piers Morgan said, two and a half years since that uh, Oprah Winfrey interview, this is always going to be the centre and the most significant uh, discussion point. And clearly now it's uh, taken on a, a new life um, since, uh, obviously, uh, we, we now, since the, basically... Whether it's an error, whatever happened, but ever since this Dutch book came out, it has let out the, the genie out of the bottle. Yeah. Well, we'll watch with interest over the next couple of days. Rupert, thank you as ever. Rupert Bell, Talk TV's Royal Correspondent, with us on the programme.